Hello, welcome back. This is the project management workbook review as part of the quick start guide. We are in the, the project management workbook and, and the link to the file is here and also in the description for this video. Where we are right now is we have just completed the project charter. We filled it out and reviewed it with Maria and Roberto, our project sponsors, and they have provided key feedback and and we updated the document and and we have a clear understanding of of what our objectives are and and where we need to go and how things will work. So the next uh, portion we're going to talk about uh, or section is the project plan. So clicking on the project plan tab, this is a page to keep all your key, um, you know, tasks and subtasks um, organized all your activities so a, a superior program um, to stay uh, organized in project management is uh, Microsoft um, project Microsoft project so it, it this has more functionality at, and I would recommend using this if you have access to it um, and making sure that others that you're going to share your project plan with have access to it if they do not then I would recommend you know using using Excel so I'll jump into an example of, of a main activity that has to take place uh, let's say hiring and let's say a part of hiring you have to uh, develop job descriptions so that will include, you know, writing them, getting them approved, making sure everyone agrees, and then, uh, and then after you do that, you have to uh, mark uh, marketing the the positions that are available. Uh, you have to interview uh, candidates. Uh, after you interview candidates, um, you would uh, select. candidates and then um, and you want the candidates to accept offers uh, so so those are the major you know it, you could probably be more detailed if you would like it's up to you the level of detail that you want to go down to but but I thought this was a higher um, high enough level of detail just to make sure uh, there are some dates here that that I already entered um, you know just to save time um, but but this is you know so so visually overall you know that all these subtasks fit into this larger bucket and you can keep going uh, and include all the groups of activities that you have to do what I would recommend is organizing these groups of activities around your work streams if your project is larger or key topic areas whichever you prefer the milestones are also key because these are the things that that are critical to accomplishing in the project and when you look at this it's not developing the job descriptions or or selecting candidates it's them accepting offers that's that's really the key that you're you're trying to do and you're trying to do that by a certain date so that milestones are very important uh, those are the key things that that are critical you know they call critical path items but but they are critical to the success of the project and hitting all your goals so in order to meet our deadline of opening this store we need to hire everybody by you know this date and this is just an example um, and over here you could put the percentage complete so we could say right today we are hundred percent done with done with the job descriptions we started marketing um, we've actually interviewed some candidates, but that's that's where we are right now. We haven't selected anybody. Uh, job descriptions. The the HR manager wrote the descriptions, and and that's the owner of that. And you can go down each one of these and and put a specific owner, and then any put any additional comments that you would like. In this template, uh, to the right, this is filled out automatically is a visual representation a bar colored over time of that job description and it's and it uh, if you change the date 
So let's say this is changed to you know, the eighth, and you'll see that change automatically. So you know, this runs off this column here, but this is a visualization of your project activities, and then the diamond represents the, the milestone. Uh, this is called a Gantt chart. Uh, it, Microsoft Project has, has a, um, a more illustrative Gantt chart, but, but this is a, a, an Excel version for you to use. So if also, um, so that's an overview of the project plan. If you want to extend this workbook by adding more tasks, you would just highlight the rows and, and copy them down. Uh, and if you want to extend the timeline, you would highlight a column and, and copy to the right. So this is an overview of Microsoft, uh, of a project plan to keep all your activities and, and tasks uh, in order. Next, we will cover the action item log. See you in the next video.